When the James Webb Space Telescope began its mission, astronomers anticipated finding small, underdeveloped galaxies in the early universe, galaxies that aligned with the standard model of cosmology. Instead, they discovered massive galaxies that seemed to defy expectations, sparking a crisis in cosmology. However, a recent study revealed the truth about this discovery and has opened new questions and kept the excitement in astronomy alive. In this video, we'll explore Webb's latest findings, how black holes shape our perception of galaxies, why the early universe was such an efficient star factory, and what this all means for our understanding of the cosmos. Soon after Webb started its mission, astronomers found galaxies in the early universe that were much brighter and larger than expected. These galaxies appeared far more massive than what scientists believed was possible for their age, leading to doubts about our understanding of how the universe formed and evolved. The standard model of cosmology, which has successfully explained the structure of the universe since the Big Bang, suddenly seemed incompatible with these massive galaxies. However, recent studies have uncovered the truth. These galaxies weren't as massive as they appeared. The main reason? Supermassive black holes. These black holes were consuming gas at extremely high speeds, and the friction from this gas generated intense heat and light. This extra light made the galaxies appear far brighter and more massive than they actually were. In other words, the brightness was misleading, suggesting there were more stars present than in reality. By separating the light produced by black holes from that of stars, astronomers found that these galaxies actually fit within the predictions of the standard model. The galaxies weren't defying any cosmic laws. They were simply veiled by the influence of black holes. This discovery preserved the standard model of cosmology and demonstrated that it still holds true under Webb's new observations. Let's explore deeper the role of supermassive black holes in shaping these early galaxies. Black holes have such strong gravitational pulls that even light cannot escape them. As gas spirals into a black hole, it heats up and releases vast amounts of energy, forming what's known as an accretion disk. It was these accretion disks that initially caused confusion in Webb's early observations. The light from the disks made the galaxies appear larger and brighter than they really were. However, detailed analysis of the light spectra allowed astronomers to identify fast-moving hydrogen gas, a signature of black hole accretion, confirming that much of the brightness wasn't coming from stars, but from black holes devouring gas. This discovery highlights the active role black holes played in shaping galaxies in the early universe. They weren't just passive observers, they influenced how galaxies grew and evolved. The light from these black holes illuminated some of the most distant regions of the universe, offering critical insights into how galaxies formed in the first place. Interestingly, black holes may have also affected star formation. As gas spirals into a black hole, it heats up potentially blowing gas out of the galaxy and preventing new stars from forming. However, in the dense environment of the early universe, this process might have been different. The gas could have been trapped more easily, allowing rapid star formation despite the presence of black holes. This study shows that black holes aren't just destructive forces, they can also contribute to the creation of stars, depending on the surrounding conditions. Without Webb's advanced instruments, we might still be puzzled by these early galaxies. Although Webb's data has resolved the issue of seemingly massive galaxies, another question remains. Why does Webb continue to detect more large galaxies in the early universe than expected, even after accounting for black hole brightness? One potential explanation lies in how stars formed during this epoch. Galaxies in the early universe may have been far more efficient at converting gas into stars than they are today. Star formation occurs when gas cools and condenses under the force of gravity, eventually collapsing into one or more stars. However, this process is complicated by the outward pressure generated as the gas heats up, resisting further collapse. In the early universe, conditions were different. Gas densities were higher, and gravity's pull was stronger allowing galaxies to overcome this resistance more easily and produce stars at a faster rate. Webb's observations have confirmed this theory. 
The telescope has identified regions in the early universe where stars formed at rates far higher than expected. Some galaxies, existing only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang, were incredibly efficient at turning gas into stars. Webb's NARCAM instrument has been significant in studying these star-forming galaxies in great detail. The Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Sears, survey, which also contributed to the findings on black holes, played a crucial role in these discoveries. By capturing detailed images of galaxies at different stages of star formation, Webb has allowed astronomers to track how star formation evolved over time. However, as the universe expanded and gas densities decreased, the rate of star formation slowed down. But why did star formation slow as the universe aged? One possibility is that as galaxies grew, the gas within them became hotter and more diffuse, making it harder for stars to form. Additionally, the radiation and winds from newly formed stars may have heated surrounding gas, preventing further star formation. In contrast, the early universe's higher gas density facilitated faster cooling and condensation, enabling galaxies to form stars more efficiently. Webb has also provided insights into how black holes might have influenced this process. In early galaxies, black holes could have played a dual role, helping to pull in gas for star formation, while also potentially expelling gas and hindering further star creation. Understanding this delicate balance between black hole activity and star formation is an ongoing area of research. Even with these insights, the abundance of massive galaxies in Webb's data continues to raise questions. Why did some galaxies grow so large so quickly, while others remained small? And why did star formation rates vary so significantly across different regions of the early universe? These questions remain at the forefront of astronomical research. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed exploring these fascinating discoveries with us. Stay tuned for more updates on the universe's mysteries, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Until next time.